Hey guys, uh, back again with the uh, 7.3 Power Stroke and we're going to be doing the second part of the fuel injectors today. The cleaning part of the oil side. Since in the first video we did the fuel side, so now we're going to be doing the oil. So yeah, check it out. Alright, so here's all the supplies you're going to need to do this job. So. This is a uh, 13 deep socket. You need that to remove the plastic power stroke cover that's on the top of the uh, H-pop reservoir. You're going to need a Torx 30 to remove the H-pop reservoir's plug where we're going to be pulling out some of the oil and replacing with some of the stuff we got here. Um, a Torx 27 will work and I'm sure certain Allen wrenches will work but yeah it's supposed to be a Torx 30 is the correct one. I've never seen this before. No, just kidding. This thing is, uh, this is to pull the oil out of the H-pop. Um, it doesn't always work as well as I'd like it to, so I've also brought along a soap pump dispenser, but I'm not sure if that will even work because it's kind of small, so hopefully it doesn't get to that, but sometimes this thing doesn't, uh, perform adequately so yeah just in case but yeah you need something to be able to get the oil out of the uh, reservoir and then this is the just something to put the oil into that we pull out of there um, a makeshift dipstick uh, just basically you want to make sure that you have something that is clean that won't fall in and that's pretty much the long and short of it. You just want to make sure that if you uh, have to use a dipstick to test the reservoir level, you don't want to get any contaminants in there whatsoever. So we, that's why we got the paper towels too. Anything that goes in there and you want to make sure that it's not going to fall in. So see, even if I dropped it or let it go, this is long enough that it's got a handle on it. So it's not going to fall in because that would be bad. So the product that we're going to be using to replace... Uh, some of the oil with is Hot Shots Secrets Stiction Eliminator. Um, the reason that I like this product so much is that it's specifically designed uh, with the HEUI injectors in mind. You can see at the top there under Stiction Symptoms that it mentions the HEUI injectors, so that's why I feel comfortable about using this type of stuff. <clears throat> the 7.3s fortunately don't have nearly the issues with stiction that the uh, 6.0s do so that's not such an issue as far as you know with these engines but I again like I mentioned before that I really like the product that's actually was designed with the HEUI injectors in mind and then when we're putting this uh, stuff back in there we're gonna have to use a funnel here and I'll show you a little trick that I use that gives you a little more security because the reservoir port is pretty small and you can make a mess real quick, really easily. So, and that's why it always helps to have, you know, paper towels with you too, just to be safe. So yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove this uh, plastic power stroke cover. I already pre-loosened these caps so I wouldn't have to do it with the actual socket. But yeah, you'll need a 13 socket to do this. just comes off of there just like that so the port that we're dealing with is going to be right here that we're removing so we're going to take our Torx T30 and you really just have to break it free and then as soon as you do that you can pretty much do it by hand um, really important not to lose this thing because if you do, you're not going to be able to run your truck without it just because oil would spray out of here like a geyser eventually until it shut down the engines because of the injectors not getting the oil they need. So yeah, put this somewhere safe. I'm going to stick it in my back pocket, but yeah, don't lose it. So usually about one full, full pump of these is because there's about a quart in there total. All 
right, so we're wiping down. Since this uh, little thing is going to be going in there, we're going to wipe that down, get that nice and clean. And the oil that comes out of the age pop always looks super yucky. It doesn't matter how often you uh, change your oil. All right. You see this part is going to be a little messy just because this thing isn't the greatest thing in the world. Not too bad. and you'll see in a second why I'm using a vitamin water bottle. And you don't necessarily need a vitamin water bottle, but you're going to want two of the same type of bottle. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. So I didn't get all the way up to the top with the last one. It's probably about three fourths, but you, I'll show you with the level in the bottle. The main part is really you just want to make sure you put back in about as much as you end up taking out because it's not narrow enough to sit in there securely. It just rests in the top of there, but it doesn't go far enough in that it'll sit there securely on its own. So I like to take a zip tie and just zip tie it to this little post here that the plastic power stroke cover is normally attached to. And it's not it's not going to make it rock solid, but it's a lot more secure than it normally would be. And it'll pop, it'll still pop out of there pretty easy if you like press on it at all. But as long as you kind of just leave it to its own devices it'll it'll stay securely on there see just like that all right we're just gonna go nice and slow with this All right, that should be good. Oops, there goes the funnel. Oh well, don't need it anymore anyways. So now we're gonna put our reservoir thing cap back on here that we didn't lose. Reinstall our cover here. I know this is probably groundbreaking stuff here that you guys are pretty blown away by. All right, so now we're going to give her the old uh, two-minute rundown. Go check her out. might look, run a little rough for the first couple minutes or so just because when you open up the H-pop you let a little air in there 
but it'll smooth out real quick. Alright guys, and that's all there is to it. So yeah, you got your injectors all uh, cleaned up and ready for lots more miles of fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy.